Welcome to the Crypt. Today we're going to be checking out Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, this has just been released. It came out roughly a week ago and it's a game I've been keeping my eye on for a while now. I've definitely been keen to check this out. Uh, I have played Darkest Dungeon uh, 1 and absolutely loved that game. Um, basically it's sort of like a roguelike dungeon crawler uh, where it's got this very Lovecraftian um, style to it. Uh, really interesting game and I think um, this is going to be a lot better than the original um, from what I've seen. So we're going to jump straight into it. It's got an uh, interesting style to the game. Um, it's a very difficult game. So be aware of that if you're not familiar with the Darkest Dungeon series. Straight off the bat you can see the amazing art style here they've got. It's a very dark fantasy world um, sort of game. at last my protege my friend our calculations were correct the ephemeral equation is unbalanced the earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis and everywhere unbridled consequence the world is a wasteland of failures past and yet you must ride out into it, unafraid. Take this. It is hope, the very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon and face the fearsome truth of the darkest dungeon. Alright, I do love the narrator in these games as well. It really makes the atmosphere. Um, it's quite creepy. You must face your failures or be consumed by them. So this game has changed its perspective a little bit as far as leaning a little bit more to the 2.5 3D sort of effect. Um, whereas the original was pretty much completely 2D. Um, so yeah, it's already got a completely different perspective on the game. So we're going to start with the prologue here. Let's begin our confession and sign it off. The stagecoach is awesome. Okay, so it looks like we actually control the stagecoach ourselves. This is very cool. I know failure well. I glimpsed it lurking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world. And I trembled at its terrible reverberations. The crossroads. Wait by the lantern's light. And welcome what help may come. Alright, the crossroads. Let's check this out. So we're going to be recruiting a party um, to delve into these dungeons. And... They all have their own separate abilities and things, so the party here. Four heroes will join together on this expedition. Your salvation rides with them. So, like I said, it is a very difficult game. Uh, game. <clears throat> and uh, you're not expected to be able to come out of this unscathed. So, be prepared to be switching out characters as you play along. So we have the man at arms, Barristan, the Wanderer. You'll see the ranks and targets. This is basically showing your position in the lineup. 
uh, and then your target here as to where they can attack effectively. So this character here likes to be sort of either in the first three, um, typically in the second Pride. position, looks like More where it sells the most, the and he tends to attack the first two in the enemy lineup. Alright, now the Highwayman here, he's a little bit more of a ranger. Um, pretty good. I do like I do like the Highwayman. Um, he can go potentially in Haunted. third, I think Hurried. we'll try. A fugitive seeking to outpace and the then past. we have the grave robber here as well. Okay, so I think maybe third uh, fourth unseen. we'll it probably change this around because we don't really have anyone who's specifically good at front line so we will move everyone up a rank i believe we go there and then um actually the plague doctor i'll put in third place here discriminate science stains the surgeon's Good. hands go through and double check how we want to play this because the grave robber likes to be in second or third place maybe we change these two around here that should be a little bit more optimized okay i think that's good uh, so yeah they all have their own sort of um effects and things that their own attacks that they're good at uh, but we'll see that we, once we get into the game a bit further anyway. Alright, into the valley. Onward. Oh god, this game looks so amazing. Yet remains of the, world. the bulwark of your denial is giving way. Okay. So we've got our first encounter here let's see how this is going to play out so our um grave robber here is who is going to go first we have a few abilities here pick to the face you'll see when you scroll over these abilities if you're unfamiliar it will show you who you're going to target and what position you should be in to even do that so i think we could have a look. Poison Dart might be nice to start off with. Do have like a self heal. Um, go through here. This is probably going to be the pick to the face. Is probably going to do the most damage. Uh, let's go for. We'll go for the second position here. Okay, now the highwayman, let's see what he wants to do, we could go, uh, we do have pretty solid damage, this is pierce, uh, resist piercing, let's see, um, I think what we can do on some of these things is take aim, um, gives us a buff. Tracking shot. The Duelist Advance will actually move us forward in our rankings. Um, so we don't actually want that yet. I think maybe we just go with our Wicked Slice to start us off. And let's take out the back line. We've got the Death Blow. So similar to the first Darkest Dungeon, once you kill something, they leave basically a body pile or a corpse behind, which will affect essentially the rankings or the lineup of the enemies, which can change throughout battles, so be aware of that. Alright, so we have a damage and a self heal there we've got a defender a bolster which will uh, buff 
3 to 6 damage, 4 to 7. Let's just go with Crush. Okay, and we can do... Only two abilities here seem to line up well for what we want. Uh, this looks like it may inflict potentially bleeding and blight. So there are status effects on these things as well, as well so um, be aware of that. Noxious Blast, let's try this one. So they have now gone blight, so we have damage over time effects. Uh, let's maybe go... I think we do the Wicked Slice again on him. We got the Death Blow. There we go, that's our first combat out of the way. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Alright, we have the Candle of Hope. So, Alter Currency... Um, let's see, Faint Glimmers, that Whisper of Brighter Hereafter. Of a Brighter Hereafter. Okay, um... Minor Bounces Belt. So we actually have a Trinket. Plus 15% healing received from skills. Minus 15% um, resistance. So let's, we'll take all. It'll be interesting to see how are you similar these things are so um, compared to the first game. Alright, let's just carry on. We do obviously have these tutorials here we can get rid of. Giving in to madness is easier than holding out against it. The desperate few. Heroes. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, encounters. During encounters such as this one, you must pick up... Uh, you must pick one of the choices... Uh, by holding left click on one of your heroes. The results will be pre uh, previewed at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Got it. Um, right. Let me close out there. Okay. So let us unite them beneath our banner. Or the last of my jewels, Pawn for Steel. So, it looks like uh, we will have plus 100 torchlight and gold there, I believe. And this one gives us plus 100 torchlight and a ring. Let's try this one here, I think. Search every shadow. There is so, a plus 100 right flame. Here. Minor Heart Seeker. So we get a trinket. We got a trinket out of it, basically. Um, plus 3% crit. Minus 10% healing received from skills. Okay. So, just like the previous games, um, or game, you do have a torchlight, which is indicated here. Uh, basically, the lower this gauge gets, um... It does affect encounters, whether or not they're going to be uh, getting sort of any ambush or advantage. Um, they can become tougher battles once this goes down. You can feel it. A change in the air. I'm just swerving all over the road here. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Okay, we have a couple new enemies here as well. We have the Woodsman, so if we look in the bottom right hand corner, uh, we can see their stats as well. Health 42. Um, it looks like it shows our resistances or their resistances to different effects. They are weak against burn damage by the looks of it. Now, the Widows we have here as well. Less HP. Um, and then they are weak against stun, uh, bleed, and movement by the looks of it. Okay, so what can we do here? We might want to take out the back line first. This here would hit 
um, both of the Widows. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Oh, actually, sorry, because the first guy is a large enemy, he actually takes up the first two slots. So, he is in position 1 and 2. This Widow is position 3, and then the last Widow is actually in position 4. So, um, I think we still go with this. Get a little bit of damage on both of them. Okay, what else can we do here? A tracking shot. Hmm, okay. Maybe we just go with the pistol shot. The fewer enemies we have to face, the better. So I want to get rid of at least one of these widows first. Um, though I know this woodsman is probably going to do massive damage to us at some point. So we do have a target knockback defender, which might be a good idea, honestly. Do we defend? I think we defend. Um, and... Yeah, do we defend here? Do we defend ourselves, or do we defend a particular character? Loses next action. So let's maybe just do our two front line to fend up both of them. Okay, so uh, during combat, hold Alt or middle mouse on heroes or enemies to see the academic view. This valuable screen shows full details on any tokens a combatant has. So this will probably be tokens as far as debuffs and things and statuses. Um, combat skills, okay. So let's try that. Here we go, so we can go into its status. Uh, right, resistances. We have our skills here we can go over. Status. Um, I don't know exactly what that symbol means. Right, anyway, let's carry on. Let's do... And we still want to go pistol shot. Almost killed this widow here. We can get... Maybe this might be the go-to. I would have liked to have done a little bit more damage here. Actually, I think... No. Yes. So I'm looking at the wrong things here. Um, sorry, binding gas is what I want to use. This affects both the back targets. But they're resistant, okay. Yeah, they do have pretty good resistance to blight, so... Let's try our crush. I think we just take you out. Early get rid of one threat. Okay, we gain horror. Ah, okay, so yeah, that symbol is horror, which... I believe is essentially the same as the first game. Uh, you'll see underneath the characters these black dots. And when these fill in, it sort of stresses everyone out. Um, and can have some negative effects on how things go. So, flashing daggers, we could try that. We could try a poison dart. I think actually we just go throwing dagger. Alright, 
so he's going to try and protect now. If we can get maybe, let's take aim, um, take aim. Is this not who we want to take aim on? Let's see, take aim. Okay. Why do you not want to... Does it only work on you? Tracking shot. I'm just having a quick look at this. This is um, a fair bit different to the first game. Just the UI and everything. So it might take me a minute to get used to it, but you guys can learn from what I'm doing. Uh, I'm sure you guys will be able to spot the correct dancer and what abilities I should be picking. Uh, let's try the poison dart on this big guy. Oh nice, he did take blight, which is good. Alright, this is for ourself. Incision would get some bleed. I think we maybe go with incision as well. I know he has a 20% resist. I think we try and take down the big guy if we can. I definitely think the artwork on this is a little bit more vibrant as far as the characters go. More colour in them, which is really nice to see. While it's still a nice, dreary, apocalyptic kind of um, game, uh, the characters stand out really well. The art style is perfect. Okay, so let's see. We might be... I think throwing Dagger again to the Widow at the back. And another crush on the big guy here. I might try the Binding Gas again on the back line. Nope. Okay. Damn, we got... Three of us affected by horror. You can see the stress level of our grave robber at the back is going up. And it says they're irritable. Okay, let's see. Um, pistol shot. We can actually, I think pistol shot we might be able to take her out how much HP did he have 8 if we got like a crit on this ooh, it was, it was going to be a close one I was hoping we might have gotten that but uh, no luck there the incision though that should finish him off he's on death's door we'll crush to the back line here a petty hindrance. So I think we just have to finish this guy off now. There we go. That should have finished him right. All problems have their solutions. Even the big ones. So yeah, you really don't want people to be getting afflicted with the stress and the horror. Um, too much. Uh, they can recover from it. Once we get to like a Push settlement or town, I believe, um, you. yeah, I believe we can rest up. And potentially switch out characters and things as well. So this must be the town. This must be the little village. There are yet places such as this. Travel log. Where a uh, little light still gathers. The resolute companions reach the torch and crown. Two candles gain for reaching the inn. 
So the torsion crown is the end. Okay. So we have monster death blows, combo tokens. Okay, relics. Mastery and baubles. Okay, interesting. This must be some sort of currency or items. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we'll finish the prologue here. You have found your fortitude at last. Collect what hope you can and end your expedition here. So as you can see, the stress carries through on all the characters. Um, same as the last game. So we can have a quick look at these. Equip combat item. Plus 15 flame. Can we actually equip that there? Okay. So lethal faint gain on miss. These are the quirks, so all the characters have quirks as well. Good and bad. Okay, head in the sand. Is this stealth 15%? Some of the symbols I don't recognize, so um, might take us a while to learn what all of those are. Oh, okay, and there's relationships as well. Interesting. Um, I don't recall if this was in the first game. So, neutral, unlikely to form a relationship. Negative relationship, 5%. So, this will give you buffs or debuffs as well compared to your... Um, companions you're traveling with I guess so there could be some fine tweaking there if you've got uh, really good relations between each companion that you're taking out onto the expeditions okay hero goals assistance encounters and there's pets. Okay. I didn't realize there were pets in this as well. There's going to be quite a lot um, to learn. I think they have changed up quite a lot of stuff in this game. So if we go all our items here. Relics. Uh, memories and impressions from a bygone age. And this was our trinket we had here. Plus 15% healing received from skills. Um, minus 10% healing. Do we want anyone with a larger crit rate? I'm wondering. If we go into him. I think crit rate on you might be good. Trinkets, here we go. We can equip them down the bottom here, right? So let me just have a look at this. Um, would this... So this is healing received from skills. This is healing received from skills. If we equip both, then he actually gets a plus 5% healing buff from skills, but minus 15% um, resistance. And he looks like he's got pretty good resistance. He might be able to afford to take that. I mean, the crit might actually be better on one of our other characters as well, though. Let's just see. Um, I mean, crit potentially even on our highwayman. Which I think maybe we should do that. Maybe if we go to our highwayman. Maybe he needs the crit. Um, as far as healing received. Brave robber maybe. We'll try that anyway. So it's a, definitely a fine line of balancing act with these. Um, I think we end this expedition here. And begin again. 
So we get two candles for the completion. We found three. And we are collecting hope. This will end your expedition. Yes. Remain undeterred, and you will yet prevail. Oh, were we not supposed to end that? I thought we were at the end of the um, prologue. Let's just go back. Alright, um, Altar of Hope, okay, let's have a look at what this is. Uh, each expedition you earn Candles of Hope. The Altar is where you spend those candles to unlock new classes, items, pets, and more. For this first visit, you must visit the Working Fields. Okay. Uh, the working fields. Spare a thought for tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Okay. Trinkets, combat items, stagecoach items, in items. Okay. Trinkets. Okay. Combat items. I guess we can spend our drop of sanity. candles here. Of madness. Combat item restorative, so we've got a health potion. Uh, plus 25% death resistance for three turns. Plus six uh, while on death's door, three turns. Is this movement, I think? Um, plus 10% crit while on death's door? Okay. Stagecoach items, I'm not sure what this is. Let's check this out. Hot and still. In the science of Food gear. Before each location, chance to produce whiskey items increases stacking for whiskey by four per stack. And then we've got in items and trinkets. I wonder if we just keep going stagecoach items. Looks like there is 75 trinkets here, 30 combat items, 30 stagecoach items. And 30 in items. Let's take an in item. We'll take one of each just to check it out, I think. Speed bag. So, round start plus 5% until next in. Is that dodge? I believe is. Or evade? I think that symbol means. Uh, we could go for another trinket here. Let's do this. Every Carrying Patriarch. Is another um, convert, at our disposal. Uh, convert this to this, essentially. Turn start if speed or whatever is under 2, we get minus 10% damage, I think. We need to learn how to interpret some of these symbols here. Let's have a look at some of this. Um, because I haven't actually been looking through this, we'll just quickly click through party creation. Heroes, hero sheet, hero sheet 2. Quirks, combat skills. Um, conditions. Trinkets, let's see. Affinity changes. Uh, vastly different opinions. Okay, so this is about more like the affinity is like the relations between each character, I think. Because they do have different opinions about things. Um, stress, high stress, meltdowns. Uh, okay, combat, turn order, action, skills. Token Glossary. Here we go. This is what we want. Hold control to view the Token Glossary to see what each token means. Uh, we probably can't do that right now, but once we get into a battle, I think we can. 
Okay, let's go in there. As fleeting as a dying star. We'll carry on. So, ah, here we go. This is going to show us everything. Crit. Dodges, horror, days. See, this is what happens when you don't read things properly. Um, the first time round. You must face your failures. Or be consumed so by holding them. control will show us all these symbols, buffs, debuffs. It's nice that they've highlighted these as well. Um, and color-coded everything. So days. Alright, cool. If we need to check in on anything. Yeah, so it was dodge. That's what that symbol was. And it goes to a dodge plus. So 50% to a 75% was what we were looking at before. Um, this, yeah, these are speed. Basically. Okay. Complete your confession. Denial. The of denial must be destroyed. So if you are playing this game for the first time, definitely read into all of that. Um, especially if you're new to the game. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. The crossroads where lost souls hope to find their way all right back to the crossroads okay so uh we can go back in and set up our team again for the next embark more one. devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns so we can rename these guys as well by looks of the info skills this will show us all the information beforehand um, which will be important when we have quite a lot of these guys uh, opened up so as you can see here it looks like at the altar of hope we may be able to unlock more positions for characters so I think we may have um, may have finished a little bit too early when we uh, came out of that you came earlier. here seeking solace but found stagnation instead ah uh, so we can potentially get gold and relics out of these but it could you also could be something it. bad too a change in the air if we drive through the leaf piles you see even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain Right, we've come across these enemies before, so we should know what to do. I actually kind of want to get rid of the big guy first. This time. I reckon we just slam on through, do as much damage as we can. Agony by accumulation. Filthy Mortal. Ah, uh, okay, so they have changed their uh, lineup. You can see that some of their attacks will actually move them forward in the lineup. Um, uh, we could we could try this. I think they're probably immune to it for the most part, though. Nice, we got a solid crit there. Okay, let's go pit to the face. He's on death's door. Uh, they're so resistant to the blight, which is a little bit of a pain. Um, we could potentially well we don't 
actually maybe we yeah let's go battlefield medic we'll remove the bleeding and the blight here this wound at least has been tended to Okay, so let's get a crush down on you. Uh, flashing dagger is perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, that should get rid of you as well, right? Or you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do pick for the face. We'll take out this guy here. You're on death's door. Next blow could be fatal. Here we go. We'll get rid of him now. It's got blight. Death blow. Let's just make sure we get rid of him, actually. Now, unless this guy, well, perfect, actually. I was going to say, unless this guy uses an attack that moves the party forward, or moves his positioning, we were going to have to range him, which was not going to be ideal. Here we go. Forgotten. Plus five mastery. Mastery now. points are invested at the inn to upgrade hero skills. Uh, we get some relics here. We've got rural rel uh, rural riches, baubles. Okay, we'll take all of that. So I think these all get counted up at the end so of the expedition. Um. Here's where you unlock more trinkets, spend some candles, etc. Okay. Let's carry on through here. So we back at the inn now. Which the fire is lit. The table is set. Let's see. The speed bag. Awaits its favorite guests. How do we use these? Let me just use it like that. Continue. Regions to the mountain says two here. Ah, okay. So down the bottom. This is what I wasn't paying attention to earlier. We now have. Instead of end expedition, we have the provisioner, mastery trainer, the Wainwright, and select route. So let's go mastery. However painful, five here. Is the greatest teacher of all. We could slice. So this, okay. So we can upgrade here by the looks of it. Uh, that could go to a 30%, 6 to 9 damage. Nice, okay. This would be increased damage as well, let's do that. Cool, I'm liking the fact you can upgrade these, this is interesting, you couldn't do this in the first game so it's um oh it's quite quite interesting actually that you can do this i might use this on flashing daggers mainly because of the um fact it hits two spots actually where is my plague doctor this here would I think this changes the percentage of the um, where is it combo triggers additional skill effects when targeted uh, 
and they'll go to three to four instead of two to three. Target gets six instead of four blight. About incision. Let's put it on incision actually. I like that. And We, uh, he is kind of our only medic as well, so maybe we should be upgrading our heal. Um, probably not a bad idea. I am sort of one to kind of go full ham, full send it. Um, but I think actually, let's put it into the medic. Just, you never know, it might save us. Alright, Wayne Wright, let's have a look at this. Be maintained if it is to carry you where you stage must go. coach items. Let's put this into the stage Any coach item here. Is a good thing. So before each location, chance to produce whiskey items increases stacking for whiskey by four per stack. So on the original Darkest Dungeon, you had to consume food every so often. Um as well as like upgrading your torch and things like that as well so uh, they may have a similar sort of system in here with the whiskey it does say it's food gear everywhere in ruin okay everywhere um select our route so true evil spelunk go clear out the lair or we can use healing ways uh, avoid the hoarder. Hmm. The tangle or the sprawl. Anti-commerce. Avoid the hoarder. This could be... It gives you two mastery points, but it seems like it might be a little bit more difficult. Let's Modern do rain. this. Resignation and death. The tangle. This land is truly barren. Okay, let's embark then, I think. Oh, it's such a massive difference from the first game as far as how the UI and things are laid out as well. Um, definitely still has that good feel, like it still feels just like the More first one. Uh, but it looks like only. now they've added in almost like a Slay the Spire type map for a pathing system uh, in the original one they had a completely different map set up and grid for dungeons and things so so this shows us we were we've traveled this path here um, we were at the inn now we could go unknown this location will grant one candle uh, here on Shrine, interesting, so, Hazard, minus one armor, unknown, unknown. So we may want to plan out our path. We can avoid some fights here. If we go either of these two locations here, we're going to have to um, go through the combat. It looks like we can actually avoid a lot here. The Lear boss fight. I think we need to do this one here, don't we? If we... Okay, let's just follow up the right-hand side then. Is that where we want to go? Can we choose specifically? Or are we going to see a path split off up here? Um, not sure why that consider all enough. variables but do it quickly ah, okay sweet so we hold down what direction we want to travel in interesting not going to be able to avoid all combat obviously so 
so this guy here at the back urchin um, haven't come across him yet let's just have a look here we could urchin he's pretty quick um, let's see tracking shot ignores dodge I think we try that on him and then that gives it a combo triggers additional skill effects when targeted I might poison dart him as well actually we get the combo off Song of Shadows He's got crit now. Battlement and, and stealth. And we've just been stunned here. As well as our lineup being moved around a bit. Uh, we might have to minimize how many enemies we've got now. Hoping we could get rid of the back line because usually the back line guys are pretty dangerous. Uh, what are their resistances to blight? Pretty high. Um, and these guys still have a pretty high blight resistance as well, so we might as well do the blinding, uh, blinding gas on the back too. In the beyond. Took a critical there. Alright, let's get rid of one of these guys at least. Uh, wicked Slice. Should do solid damage there. I think we want to try the blinding gas again on the back line. So they've got a 50% chance to miss their next attack, which isn't bad. Gets rid of the two front line. Alright, now we're going to have to try and pick off these next two. Um, this will move and change my positioning, which actually I think I do want. Uh, this gives a knockback. We could also bolster though. Gives me plus five stress, does it? Uh, it's probably not what we want to defend. Okay, thrown dagger or flashing daggers. Still have the poison dart we could potentially do, but I think I think we go throw and dagger. There we go. We got the death blow. Target knockback. It's not really going to help us. I guess I'm going to have to start clearing out some of these corpses and move the line up. Uh, we'll go with the pistol shot. That doesn't quite reach. Wait, the pistol shot doesn't reach? I thought that would hit the tracking shot. I can get a track of shot and we'll do that. Uh, next skill has 100% crit and ignores 20% resistance. Ooh, um, I 
Damn, okay, this isn't great. Alright, we'll just do whatever. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't actually attack that time. Um, Duelist, advance. Can we go tracking shot again? I mean, throwing dagger. It's the only way we're going to get past the corpse at the moment, I think. The enemy weakened. Okay, we did get a blight on him with a death blow. Nice, that's lucky. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world. Relics, war medals. So, um, we'll take all of that. I'm looking forward to seeing how these environments change. Um, it's a very cool concept having this 3D like carriage driving through where uh, through your locations. Have you? It's a lot more interactive than the first one because in the first Darkest Dungeon you just travel like a side scroller um, through everything. Okay, he reckons they know the lay of the land. That gives us plus 30 torch, plus, um, like a telescope, I think. Ooh, this one here gives us, what, minus 12 gold, 30 land, plus 1 defense, plus 1. Uh, can I hold this? Hold alt on choices. Wheels, armor, flame, relics, that's all it tells us. Uh, in items, flame, we get minus 12 relics on these, scouting. Um, I think, I think we go with her. Plus one armor, plus one wheels. Okay, we got 4 out of 10, 5 out of 10, 2 out of 10. Um, can I open him up and see? We don't happen to have any items or anything we can use to get rid of the stress at the moment. Uh, this door, maybe I put that on him. All items, speed bag, and item. Slime mold, plus 10%. Oh, okay, so this is a food item. Um, plus 10% max HP until next in. Add quirk, 5%. Okay, what is the add something, 5%? Let me look at this. Uh, can I find that symbol? I just want to check through. I can't see that here. Is that blight or poison or something? I think it might be. It's probably going to take me a bit to learn more about the items and things we have here. These are in items by the looks of it. Okay. Trinket. Oh, we got a hero goal complete as well. Which was land the killing blow. Into the sprawl. Uh, visit the hoarder and visit assistance encounters. Okay, to so assistant encounters. Um, how do I exit out of this? Wheels here. Damaged when driving on rough 
uh, routes. When 100% each hero gains plus 50% travel healing. And then we also get when 100% each hero starts combat with defense. Ah, okay, okay. That's that's good to know. Um, it's a simple choice. At least it should be. Out. Shambles altar. Let's try this one. And close that inventory as well. The academic study. I think this was was this one that we wanted to check out. Let's check this out. The unknown. Okay. Strange fear is my specialty. Strange is that spelled correctly? It's minus fifteen percent torch and an attack up by the looks of it. Um, sorry, which you check this combat up, flame down, quirk mixed. Work regular and avoid. Uh, I think we use yeah cosmic fearing. So we it looked like we got a um, negative. Uh, I think we're negative there. We've got a, I should open the map because I can't tell where I'm going. Increasing loathing, yeah. Reducing loathing. Loathing is reduced by winning fights at locations. Choose resist, leer, or oblivion's ingress locations. Keep your loathing in check. The loathing whispers. Are right, we having an assistance encounter here? I think you might have had to do one more, right? Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. I think we get some um, stagecoach items. This one will give us food, combat items. Actually, we might want to go food. Play it, play it safe. Okay, and she got a plus one. Let's take the food. You just never know. Hazard, and then we've got an oasis. We have the lair all the way up here that we need to try and get to as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that was the one. Nice one defense. Okay. Oasis is up here. Emptied of mind and spirit by some existential shock. The poor devils roam aimlessly amidst the trees. Time to give these old bones a soak. Um, so, this here would give us negative 5 stress, which sounds good, plus 5 flame. This one gives us plus 5 flame, plus 5. plus 5 negative stress, I think it is. Uh, and a few supplies, so I think we go with you. Yeah, so that gets rid of his stress level completely. Uh, we also get rich spring water. Okay, combat item. Uh, this here gives us negative three whatever that is. Does it show up on here? Uh, I cannot see the symbol on here. But we take it. Right, we want to go the right hand path. Heading into everything here. This is a den of absolute the general's evil key. and wretchedness. Prepare yourself. Alright, this might be tough. 
I do love how they've laid out the game actually. Um, Within every keep. Keeps everything more interesting, it's more interactive. Guard. Actually steering a stagecoach through. Lear's affinity system. Uh, I'm sure I should probably be reading these, but we're just going to go straight into it. I don't care too much. Uh, let's go crush. Have a look at some of these enemies here. Uh, cadaver. <coughs> Foot soldiers. I think everything's going to be kind of weak to burn, but we don't have burn. Um, they're strong against blight and bleed, which is unfortunate. Though this first one is weak against bleed. I kind of think we just get rid of them. We just get rid of them, right? And then flashing daggers. Alright, we go debuff here. Cannot gain defense. For two rounds. Ooh, we took some pretty heavy hits there, actually. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's not great. He's our blinding gas. So he's got a 50% chance to hit less. Uh, or misses hit, I should say. This is not good. Um, don't think this is going to help too much. might just have to try and take out the second position. Oh, okay. I was not prepared to take that much damage. Oh, God. Um, uh, let's maybe defend you. <laughs> that was not good. Not good at all. I was getting ahead of myself here. Jeez, okay. Uh, I mean, I think we still have to take this guy out. He's on death door. So if we do flashing daggers, that gets rid of him plus damage to the third row. I think blinding gas again is probably a good idea here. Um, let's see. Defense. Oh, it switches target. Okay. So that was not good. Oh, that was lucky. That blinding gas saved us there. Because I, I screwed up. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to get rid of these guys as fast as possible, honestly. I I need to heal myself. Plus eleven, nice. And we go blocking. Eight. Okay, that's quite a bit as well. With the bleed. Um, let's just get rid of you. Get you out of the picture. Uh, you're going to have to heal again. This wound at least has we get rid of the bleed at the very least. Thankfully, we could reach that... Um, that's handy. And Thrawn Dagger. Death Blow. Somehow we survived that. So we've looted some relics and war medals. 
if we proceed we can get more relics and more war medals so let's advance I think this is going to be pretty tough we we could potentially die um, I'm hoping this is the boss and this is the only other fight we have to do uh, take aim gives me a self buff a dodge and it would remove stealth actually let's let's take aim and get our buff in with the crit and the 50% dodge chance um, I'm going to defend I think we defend the plague doctor now I would like maybe poison let's see what are the uh, 20 blight resist 30 blight 30 blight so I think we poison dart here damn and it was resisted okay not good Ooh, the biting blade uh, we're gonna heal and get rid of the bleed we have to keep our plague doctor healing I think uh, ooh. the defense is not great Let's see if we can get that light Nope, still got the resist. Okay, we've got focus fire. Enemies are forced to attack this target if able. Okay, well that's not good then. Um, what are we going to do here then? Protect by a foot soldier, which is this guy, right? Uh... Yikes. We have piercing, I think, so. We have to get the blinding gas. If you're blind. This is not good. Um, defend. I don't know if we're going to survive this. Play the wounded. They've got a lot of buffs coming in, honestly. Um, this will give me a self heal. So we're going to have to go with it. Cooperation is the key. Buff there. Uh, let's go with the wicked slice. I know it's not doing much damage, but we have to put all these guys down. That foot soldiers becoming a problem. More heals. I mean, we should. I don't know. Maybe we should have been targeting the back line to get rid of the buffer. But he was protected by the foot soldier, which is the problem. So it's probably smart to go foot soldier then buffer and then take out um, the main boss, the tank. Right, you're on death store. I need heals on you guys. Uh, that bleed isn't great. We'll give the death blow. Get okay, rid of him. Alright, fighting blade. 8 damage plus the bleed. Not great. Yeah, he's got pretty good buffs here. Counter attacks. Um, and he's preparing to use a powerful skill. Uh, 
Okay. How are we going to do this then? I think I have to go back line here, don't I? shots three to six this would ignore dodge at the very least and we just go pistol shot on the back line uh, this is resist good then not good um though you now don't have any defense up okay we might be screwed here this is not looking good for us piercing no we can't we can't attack he's about to use a powerful skill so, I think we again go for the back line here. I really need heals on him. I don't know what I'm supposed to do otherwise. We can't, we can't do anything there. Poison dart. I think throwing dagger for the back line gives the death blow. Plague, and we can't. Uh, we used our limit there. Blinding gas. It's the only thing we can do. Miss. Oh. Oh god. Okay. We were super lucky with that blinding gas. Um. Just go flick to the face. Oh, we did get a blight off. This door is worrying. Uh, who's he going to target? We might lose him. Back. Bolster. Then we just have to go with the crush. We almost had the kill. Well, he's on this door as well. Yeah. That's, that's what I was afra down his afraid of. In the dirt of a we lost him. This is not what we wanted. If I could have gone one more heal off, we would have been okay, I think. Um. This is what we got here. The nightmares end. That's next rewards if we proceed, but I don't think we can. I think we have to escape. Recalculating one's odds is never a wasted endeavor. Ah. Uh, the loathing best. That's rough. Please have a look at the map. Uh, creature den, that's a barricade. Wow, we are we are still very far away from anything. Oh no. Um God, I think I think we have to go this way. Yeah, that, that was rough. Not good. 
sort of like, as soon as you lose one, um, one of your Sharpen companions, your you're that pretty we screwed. Our okay, so, we don't know the numbers fall back. Uh, allow me to rest. And... Fascinating mutations take me closer. Alright. Try and get out of here. Not very good at um, driving this coach. But we did take a serious hit to our... We lost one of our wheels here. Probably why you don't want to be hitting all of this stuff. Oblivion's Rampart. Ooh, okay, let's see. Oh wow, okay, we haven't come across these guys. Enfeebling Miasma. Um... We are not looking good here. We have low flame. Let me get rid of all of these stupid um, information dumps, these hints and tutorials and things. Okay. They are weak against next to nothing. White bleed, 20s. Uh, Third place can be stunned. So from the back lot. Um, what's their poison resist? We've got pretty high blight resist here. Alright, let's just start hacking away. Bone weaving. Ah, uh, we're vulnerable as well. Take 50% damage from the next hit. Uh, <laughs> uh, this could be the end of our party, to be honest. Not what you want to see. Uh, I will do blinding on the back, just in case. Okay, we got it on the very back row. Hoping to hit this one as well in third position. Yeah, not great. We now have the blind effect, which is also pretty terrible. Um, okay, we crack through the defense. Let's try incision. Right, they're on death door. They took the death blow. Hold fast. Who knows what lurks in the beyond? Alright, we got bleed damage now. This is gonna be like near impossible to come back from, I feel. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm really not sure what what we're gonna be able to do here. Let's try the flashing daggers. Sitting pretty here at all. Stress, uh, let's heal up. This wound at least has been tended to. Okay, guys. Um, oh, he's got a regen for six turns. I'll be trying to get rid of this altar then. You've got 20, you've got 11, 22. I might still go for the cherub. 
um, and then go flashing daggers. Blinding? Oh nice, that hit both of them, cool. Right, we just gotta somehow get through this. Oh, he fully heals. Okay, I don't think he was gonna fully heal up. Now that's not good then. Alright, let's focus down the main damage dealer then, I guess. We almost have full stress as well on our um, grave robber here. Okay, this war. Let's just keep rid of you. Feel like uh, maybe we do another blinding gas. But we're gonna want to get rid of the ult now, I think. Oh we got hit with horror. Yeah, because the ult is adding the regen to the chair of gear, so we need to get rid of you. else I really think I can do other than just keep going for the altar here. Alright, I definitely played this completely wrong, uh, especially the last fight. Losing, um, losing our tank was not great. Really not ideal. Uh, we can't do much here, so we might just have to go... Blinding gas. Did nothing. Right, now we can actually start attacking, though. Uh, we should be able to reach you now. Got five in four. Not sure how much you heal. Oh no, we got a meltdown happening. Wow, we got completely stressed out. Right, incision. Yes, got the death blow. One less obstacle in our path. Woo! We did get one mastery from that, um, which is nice. Unforgettable trinket. Unlocks the potential of cultist trinkets, plus 50% bleed resistance. Um, if blood, plus one something or other. Uh, Nebral trinket, plus 20% damage. Okay. That's just all around perfect that's good plus 20 percent damage to anything is great we like to see that do you have any trinkets on you because i might give you the plus 20 percent damage at the moment um Can we equip food? These are all in items, right? Potential trinket items. Uh, cultist. So what am I doing here? Guard, cosmic fearing. Fear of dying, so these are all 
I believe the blue ones are the bad ones, right? Or not? Does it not really... Uh... Hmm. We're, uh, let's go... So, combat items are spring water. For instance. Let's just equip that. Uh, convert dodge to dodge plus. Might give you that. And then you can take that, I guess. We'll try that. I think we're getting kind of close to our destination anyway. We're almost at the inn. So I don't think we have to stress too much now. Um, hopefully we can make our way through this. But that was rough. That was rough. Uh, here we go. We're finally at the end. We can restart. Wow. It's a tough game. You make mistakes very easily. The warring heart does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Yeah, fear of death and dying. If HP is below 25%, uh, minus 25% resistance, HP is below 25%, round start, um, I think that's confusion or stun or something, ally death plus 10 horror, I think that's horror, uh, combat start versus cosmic plus 1 horror, 50%. Gained a quirk. Slippery. Uh, okay, so if HP is below 75%, round starts with a dodge 20%. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, so the blue ones are obviously the bad perks or debuffs. Uh, okay. Whew. That was rough. Not good, not good. <laughs> ah, well, yeah. I mean, we can go to our mastery trainer taught, here as well. That you may stand just a little I feel like... The end. I would like just to double check some of these. Um, so, target plus four. This gives... 33% I think we might upgrade the blinding uh, gas potentially pistol shot gives us a damage up too though and a better crit chance let's have a look through uh, this would go and well, the front dagger is actually not half bad. Thirty per, a plus um, fifteen percent extra crit, so thirty four to seven. Because this ignores like quite a bit here as well. Um, four to ten. And this ignores defense as well. Ah, kind of. Okay, at least upgrade pick to the face. Because they actually. It's a hard choice upgrading these. And because we also have to actually survive um, these. To even be able to like continue on with the same characters. Otherwise, all these upgrades are for naught. Each Let's have a look at the Wainwright. A new variable in the equation Stage of your code. fate. Got everything we needed there, right? Stress. Trophies are required to enter the mountain. 
they are found by defeating Leer bosses. So yeah, we did not defeat the Leer boss, um, unfortunately. Repair okay, we can repair refurbish. as well. So Ready this is what the baubles are used for repairing. Um, the relics, I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, we need to get that trophy from the Leer to actually advance. Um, provisioner. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. We go to... Stagecoach items. What are these? Crow's Nest. Scouting gear plus 20% location scouting. If we had 40, we'd get travel plus 20% travel healing. Um, Alright, combat. Let's see. Do we have more? These anti venom, bear trap, burn salve. Remove burn. is again resist death store plus 15 flame uh, okay laudanum removes horror can we purchase these oh, okay so we just click and drag right click and drag we might I might take two of those Take a couple of these burn self anti venom bear trap chalk dust. Uh, that should be fine. Plus sixty six percent blight resistance. Damn, that sounds actually really good. So combat and items, uh, slime mold. So with the in items, I can use this. That heals. Okay, so yeah, yeah. We go like so. Um, just feed up everyone, right? Can't do that on any more people. Uh, in items. The speed. Whiskey. So, whiskey. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what some of these items do. So. Let's go back to the provisioner because we do want in items. If we can get more that's going to yeah, poultice. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Heal stitching kits. This is what we need. Stitching kits. Plane cards. Pipe weed. Okay. I pretty much run out of money now, but I want to go back to um, here. So in items, there we go. Okay, I got you now. Pipe weed. Can't use that on you. Can use it on both of you like that. Use another stitching kit, right? Okay. Bring could fire and rot. Go back, but I think we can no each sedition early. Um yeah, let's end, let's collect our hope. We're going to have to end it early, unfortunately. Losing, losing our tank, kind of, wasn't ideal. You will yet prevail. But we're learning stuff, we're learning. Ah, 
right, and then you basically start back here again. Um, that's Darkest Dungeon 2. Uh, if you are interested in seeing more of this, guys, um, definitely leave a like and a comment below. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way um, for a channel like mine starting off, so I do appreciate it. And yeah, if you enjoyed this, um, I may post even more of it. Uh, just let me know. Alright guys, I'll catch you all next time. See ya.